Hi everyone, it's Cassie, the Young Teen Librarian at East Hampton Library. Today, for our virtual Make and Take Craft, I'm going to show you how to make CD Suncatcher art. So for CD Suncatcher art, what you will need will be any old CD, as you can tell here. Um, you will also need tape, some type of printed pattern. I have two types of printed patterns here. You will need um, water-based permanent markers, so one black one and then any, any types of assorted colors of water-based permanent markers, then also a black oil-based uh, paint marker and assorted colors of oil-based paint markers. And also you will need a tool that has a sharp point. So this particular one that I have here is an awl, it's got a point D end, but you could also use a screwdriver. Now, as you can tell here, we have ones that are already completed. These are my samples of them. Pretty nice and kind of very cool. This one was made with the paint, oil-based paint markers. And then this other one was made with the water-based paint markers. So we're going to set those aside and we will work on our CD. So we have two of them. I have already removed the backing on one of them. So the reason I have not removed the one on this one is I want to show you how to do so. So what we are going to do, so we're going to be removing this edge. That is what the awl is for. The, so the tiny point of the awl, you're going to scratch at one edge of it just to get a little bit of it up. That should be enough. And then we're going to take our tape and hopefully this works. This has worked before. We will just kind of rub it on it as like so. And there you go. See, it just peels the tape. It peels the backing right off. So we will just go the other way so that we can get the full line of it. And then we will just keep doing this with the tape until all of this is removed. All right, so as you can tell, there's still some of the backing left on it. It depends on the CD. Some CDs, the um, the cut, the um, the outer backing on the CD and the stuff on the top um, comes off easier. This this particular one, it does not come off as easy, but it shouldn't affect the end product since you will be covering it over with the markers. So we have our two CDs here. And actually, you can see, see this particular, this was a completely different blank CD, and it, the end result was that there was less of this silvery stuff there. But, as I said, it should not affect it. So, all you have to do for each of these is you're going to select which one you want for, for each design. I am going to put this one with this more simpler design. So, Oh, you just line it up with that. We're going to move the supplies we do not need to the side. Um, that one is lined up, and we're going to line up the other one with there. We go. We're going to line them up so that it's ready to go. Now you remember you have to make sure you hold it down. Um, it would be a bit easier if you used tape, but with the tape, um, you would be covering up a certain part that you needed to color. So for this one, we are going to use a black, a red, an orange, and a green water-based marker. So it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is the outline. You're going to draw the outline with the black marker and then color in the rest of it with the regular color ones. So we will do that now. So that is, I'm going to remove it just to show you. 
that that is the pattern that we've come up with. To make it a bit more, since this thing has a circle here, I'm also going to draw with the black marker within that outline. Within that outline. So we're going to kind of draw at the end of each circle. And there you go, that's that. And now we will continue with our other markers. So the since this part is here, we want to use one of our darkest ones. So red's pretty dark. So we're going to draw this, this outer edge is going to be red. All right, so now we have the red. It's still, you know. And now I think we will do the green as these longer points going around and then the orange with the shorter points. So I'm gonna do the orange first. All right. Final color of blue. All right, so that almost done. What I'm going to do, so because we have this blank middle bit, I'm just going to color it in with the red. Kind of just tie all the colors together. There we go. That is our that is our first CD sun capture. So I'm going to set that aside, and we will work on our second one. And with this one, we are going to be using now our paint markers. So we have first our black because we will have to do an outline of all of these lines that are here. Touch up a few spots. I'm gonna remove this. Do that now because we have our outline, and now we can work. All right. So, with this pattern, I'll show you the pattern again. We have one, two, three four sections that need to be colored in. So we have our four markers. Since the yellow is not going to come up as vibrantly as the blue, the purple, or the green, I'm going to use it on this tiny edge. All right, while we're giving that the chance to do a little bit of a quick dry, we are going to decide on our next color. I want to do, I think what I'm going to end up doing to do green, blue, purple. Actually, you know what? Is that it? We're doing, we're going to do green here. So it's yellow, green, blue, purple. So green, this will be blue, and then this will be purple. So start with the green. And we will work our way. Our green. Then we are going to do our blue and then our purple. our final color of 
There is our CD Suncatcher Art. It is a really simple craft using pretty much just CDs, a pattern and uh, markers, and of course, you know, tape to remove the backing on the CD. But it's a quick and simple and nice and a nice craft. So I hope that you enjoyed it and it inspires you to make to make your own crafts. So I hope that you enjoyed our CD Suncatcher art craft and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone!